Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. We're talking about perfect credit. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, people have emailed and uh, commented wanting to know how to get perfect credit or an 800 credit score. A lot of times when you get over that 800 credit score, it's considered perfect. So let's get into it right now, okay? We've talked about this before, but I want to make sure to address any of your concerns and comments and questions. So feel free to email me and I'll get to these videos for you. Someone emailed in and asked the same thing and left a comment as well. So I want to make sure that we get into this perfect credit, this 800 credit score. Let's get into it right now, okay? FICO's highest achievers, 35% of your FICO score is payment history. Now, when we talk about the FICO score, that's the one the lenders use the most, okay? You're looking at, the when you're looking at your mortgage FICO, you got FICO 5, 4, and 2 utilized for the three bureaus. You can take a look at which bureau uses which ones, okay? But uh, FICO 4, 5, and 2, and FICO 8 is often used nowadays for most other lending purposes, but FICO has a bunch of scores that you can take a look at on their website, okay? If that works for your budget, please get into the FICO because a lot of these other uh, scores are Vantage scores. They're not really utilized. They might give you a decent ideal ballpark, but your FICO could be higher or lower. So your FICO, 35% is payment history. So 90%, 98%, 98% of the highest FICO achievers, they have no missed payments, no collections, no public records. So you want to dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous items, you want to get them out of there, 609creditpair.com, or we can do the work for you at the Awesome Life Group, okay? 30% is the amount of debt. So 30% of the FICO is amount of debt. You see right there, 35% is payment history and 30% is amount of debt. So your credit utilization, you actually want to keep less than 7% if you're going for that 800, that perfect credit, getting that from that 30%, FICO down to 10%, FICO down to 7%, you wanna get it down under that, right? So that first goal really is to get it under 30%, which is, you know, good, fair range. Getting it under the 10% range is excellent, right? And then under 7%, go into that perfect credit, that perfect 800 credit score. Now, you can do this in a combination of getting your utilization down and getting new uh, utilize it, getting more credit, available credit. Now, I'm not saying to go out there and go get a bunch of credit cards all at once, but over a period of time, you can start adding good credit and adding good positive uh, credit history, right? Good primary trade lines in your own name, your own credit cards, right? And that can boost your uh, credit because now you've got more available credit and you're using less of it. Excellent, good work, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe, try button, that bell for notifications for the next time I go live, all right? Accounts with balances. Three accounts, three revolving accounts that you're utilizing, okay? You don't have to leave balances on there. Uh, you can pay them off at the end of every month, okay? I've seen people do that, I've done that, and have that 800 credit score, but three of them. I was using three, using three, stopped using three, used two, and then I saw the credit score came under 800, I started using three again, using one credit card specifically for my subscriptions, all the subscriptions that I might have and wanna utilize that you know nowadays uh, are available to us. We have a lot of great subscriptions out there that you can use, but putting on one credit card allows me to not only see all my subscriptions and know where's, what's going what and what's going on, but I'm getting that third card utilized, exercised, and paying it off every month boosting me up into that 800 credit score, part of getting that 800 credit score, okay? Total balances on revolving and open-ended cards. We've talked about open-ended cards of the American Express charge cards, okay? Total balances on revolving credit cards and open-ended Amex uh, charge cards. Accounts, you owe less than 2,500 bucks, okay? So the idea here is really you're paying off at the end of the month all the time, every time. Uh, they really don't want to see large sums being owed to creditors, right? So uh, it doesn't mean you have to keep a $2,500 balance uh, among, amongst these three revolving accounts. It just means there's no more than 2,500 bucks, but you can pay it off. I pay mine off at the end of every month up in the 800 credit scores myself, okay? Please give this video a thumbs up, all right? Appreciate it. 15% is the length of credit history, okay? So. You know, you can get up into the 800s without having a lot of credit history. I was in the up, up in the 800s when I first uh, repaired my credit. I had some good credit history, I did. Uh, aside from getting these 15 negative accounts off each of the three credit bureaus, so I had 15 negative accounts on TransUnion, 15 negative accounts on Experian, 15 on Equifax. Disputed got those negative, nasty, erroneous items out there. Had some good credit history left over, but it wasn't uh, a lot of long credit history, and we're gonna get into basically what they're looking for for that 800 credit score. Average age of accounts, this is the average age of your accounts, all your accounts together, the average age for the highest FICO earners, nine years or more, but I'll tell you what, I didn't have that average age when I was up in the 800s. It was not 
it wasn't quite there, okay? So you don't have to have all that age to be in the 800s, but the, to max it out, to make sure that nine years or more average age, yeah, that'd be great, that's the goal, right? Age of your oldest account, 25 plus years, I'll tell you what, when I had my 800 credit score the first time, uh, I did not have 25 plus years of uh, my oldest account, okay? My oldest account was not that old. However, uh, I utilized my good credit. I was up in the 800s, utilized it, came down for a little bit while I was getting all the travel cards and the travel miles and all that, and now it's back up in the 800s. And yes, my average age is uh, a little bit older now, and my oldest account is a little bit older now, but I'll tell you, my oldest account is not, my oldest, um, account is not 25 years. It still isn't 25 years and I'm up in the 800. So it's possible. Remember, this is only 15% of the length, the length of your credit history. It is only 15%, okay? So you want to have the best credit history you can, but of course it is only 15%. So you can still get up there even having, you know, a little bit more mid-range history, okay? But you want older is better and that's how the fico feels how that's how fico feels okay these people are probably a little bit more savvy a little bit more seasoned they know how to use their credit okay 10 percent is the amount of new credit so the age of your most recent opened account okay this is the age of your most recent open account and they're looking at it and they say hey you know what the newest account was opened about two and a half years ago okay age of most recently open account maybe about two and a half years ago, okay? This is for the highest level, 800 credit score. Now, yes, you can have an 800 credit score and have opened an account last year, it is possible, because you know, you might get above 800, you open a, uh, a card, it might only drop your score maybe about five, seven points per inquiry, you know, so it may not be so devastating. But we're trying to maximize here and understand that most recent inquiries for applications for your credit in the past year, okay, usually, Nothing. 70% uh, of the highest FICO achievers didn't really apply for credit in the last year, but again, that's 70%, okay? You can apply for credit in the last year, maybe a card, maybe a, maybe a, a, a car loan, maybe a mortgage or something like that, and it's maybe one hard inquiry, one. Remember, one hard inquiry, you're already up in the 800s, you get one, score, score might come down five, 10 points for a little bit, and then come back up, okay? But again, this is 10%, 10%, small amount. And then again, another 10% is your credit mix. Now, when they're looking at credit mix on the FICO, when they're looking at the credit report, revolving accounts, number of revolving accounts, the highest FICO achievers have 12 revolving accounts. These are 12 credit cards. Now, you don't have to go out and get 12 right away, but 12 revolving accounts will allow you to potentially get to that 800 credits, that maximum, right? Even with all this stuff, you gotta keep your utilization down. They wanna see that you have all this available credit and you're not actually maxing a lot. You're using very small amount, like 7%, right? So, of these 12 accounts, okay, of these 12 accounts, seven are credit cards issued by big banks, okay? Big banks. The others could be store cards. Now, you all 12 revolving accounts could all be big banks, okay? So it's not like you have to get store cards. You don't have to do that. It's not something you have to do. Big banks, big bank credit cards, okay? But at least seven of them have to be big, big, big bank credit cards. And installment loans. Usually the highest achievers have five installment loans. Uh, and you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's not too bad. A couple of a couple cars paid off. Maybe I'm a mortgage, maybe a self lender. You know, you can get there and have uh, these installment loans and these installment loans that you're paying off on time all the time or have paid off. You have to understand once they're paid off and they're still on there, you're still good. That's still part of your overall credit picture, all right? So this can help you having good positive history for long periods of time. This is how you can do it, all right? And if you've got to dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous items, 609creditrepair.com or we can do the work for the Awesome Life Group, all right? Please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, tribe button, the bell for notifications, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.